against Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. I want to share with you why I've gone from one meal a day to not even two meals a day, but in fact, three meals a day. And a lot of you may be shocked to actually hear that this is what I'm actually doing with my diet because I had been normally eating one meal a day for around a seventh month period, except there was a couple of occasions which I announced in various videos in the past that I tried experimenting with eating two meals a day for a short while and it never worked out for me. And I explained why in full detail, which I put a link for the last video on that specific topic up above in case you're interested in that. So yeah, this is something that I did not know was gonna happen at all, whatsoever. And yeah, the number one reason why I am doing this is very, very simple. I want to increase my muscle mass a lot more than where it's already currently at and what I have been finding with one meal a day for the last two months I've been incorporating bodybuilding with calisthenics and making my workouts even more intense yet my weight has not been changing whatsoever and my supplementation is on point my sleep is on point I'm resting and recovering enough I'm training properly and consistently and doing all of these other things and I just come to the conclusion that it was due to eating one meal a day even with eating loads of calories within one sitting and what I have found since eating around three meals a day sometimes even four or even up to five meals within a day but most days three meals a day with snacks in between is that my muscles are starting to look a lot more fuller and my body weight is starting to increase just within that one week period which I'm really really happy about because I was trying so hard with all of these different things to give me the results that I wanted for increasing my muscle mass even more and I was just hitting a wall and I could not progress any further and I started to get down about it at certain points because I thought to myself wow I'm putting all this effort and I'm not getting the results that I want to be getting so I kept trying out different things and really being mindful and analyzing every single different thing that I was doing and what I'm still doing now and yeah I just came to the conclusion it was due to me eating one meal a day because yeah even with eating lots of calories within one sitting you can only absorb a certain amount of the food that you are eating and actually utilize it fully. So yeah, I thought to myself, if I'm spreading my calories throughout the day and actually eating even more calories and more protein throughout the day, my body is going to maximize the absorption of each meal that I'm going to be eating and all the different macronutrients so I can actually maximize the muscle growth benefits that I've been wanting to gain and maintain for quite a while and it is widely known in the diet and also fitness industry you could even say the bodybuilding industry that yes training is a huge factor for helping you maximize muscle growth but also your diet is one of the hugest factors for giving you the body that you desire or the body that you don't desire if you're someone that is not choosing to actually eat a diet that's going to give you the body that you desire because a lot of people don't care about making their body look the best that it can look and feeling the healthiest and energetic at the same time as well. So yeah, I thought to myself, right, okay, I'm gonna experiment in with eating multiple meals a day. What I will say is I am still intermittent fasting daily. I'm fasting around 16 to 18 hours a day. So I'm still getting those amazing benefits from intermittent fasting daily, such as it increasing my testosterone production and making it more optimal and increasing my human growth hormone production, lowering my insulin, improving my insulin sensitivity, getting my body to produce the hormone known as glucagon, which allows your body to burn its own body fat as fuel, and all these other amazing benefits as well. So I feel 
at the moment I am doing something to increase my muscle mass but not something that's really really unhealthy say for example where a lot of high level bodybuilders eat like six to seven meals a day and they don't intermittent fast whatsoever and they're eating loads of animal based protein and all these really unhealthy foods that are just not going to optimize their health and longevity and vitality short term and long term so yeah so far this has been going really 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 well for me and what I found is a start of this experiment I couldn't eat as many calories throughout the day but as it's gone on my appetite is getting higher and higher and higher and I've managed to massively ramp up the amount of calories that I'm eating now I normally would eat for my one meal a day around 3,000 calories a day and now I'm eating around two three thousand calories a day just with my meal at the end of the day and then I'm eating loads of other food throughout the day which is normally raw food but normally I'm having two protein shakes which give me around 70 grams of protein throughout the day and then I'm eating loads of fruit with that and superfoods and all these other different things as well and for anyone that wants to gain a real insight into seeing exactly what I'm consuming there will be a what I eat in a day video coming very soon and after that there will be others to follow as well so stay tuned for those and yeah I have been feeling really, really, really amazing doing this. If I didn't feel good from it, I would not be doing it whatsoever. Because like I said earlier on, I do want to maximize my muscle gains, but I'm not going to do something that's just not going to optimize my health at the same time. And for me, I have a very high metabolism. I have optimal digestion I have optimal health holistically hormone production and all these other different things that just make it be able to work for me very very effectively and I train on a regular basis and I'm just busy throughout my whole day being an entrepreneur running multiple businesses coaching different people and doing so many different things that I burn so many calories and when you look at like high level professional swimmers that compete in the Olympics they eat so many calories throughout the day because they're burning so many calories and I'm a very very low body fat percentage like look there's hardly anything on me and we all know that when you're doing intermittent fasting it burns your own body fat as fuel and for me where I'm at with my body fat percentage I do believe that my body will not burn body fat as much as someone that has excessive body fat so yeah I find that just eating multiple meals throughout the day is just making me feel better all round as well I've noticed that my energy levels have gone up my mood's gone up my sleep's improved my whole way of just feeling I'm just feeling really really good all round but what I would say is if I didn't have optimal digestion like a lot of people do in constipation then I would not be feeling good whatsoever but yeah my body can handle all of this food very very easily and process it all and eliminate it very very effectively so yeah it's a really good experiment because it's going very very well and yeah I may not long term want to just keep doing this but for now this is an experiment that I want to be doing so I am doing it. I would like to see how much muscle mass that I could actually gain with doing calisthenics and bodybuilding combined. And then, yeah, if I get to a point where I start to hit a weight around 80 kilos or more, then I would reduce my calorie intake and reduce my meal frequency. Because with calisthenics, when you start to get very heavy it starts to become very hard to do a lot of calisthenics exercises and that is not what i want to be doing at all and a couple other things i mentioned is in the past especially when i was doing one meal a day i was being way busier in my life and having a lot more stress so i found that i wanted to save as much time as possible which i still do now so i could be as productive as possible but in the last two to three weeks, I've massively changed my life and reduced my stress levels. I am still working a lot, but I have reduced how much time I'm spending on the computer indoors. I'm spending a lot more time out in nature. So where I'm at now, prior to this, eating multiple meals a day was not really working for me because it was taking up too much time but i'm finding where i'm at now with what is going on in my lifestyle it completely suits my lifestyle and all of my meals prior to my last meal of the day 
take such a short time to prepare and consume as well so yeah it is really really fitting into my lifestyle in a way that is completely suitable for my lifestyle and one last thing i mentioned is I have talked about this person on my channel for Dr. Noon I'm Right. He's one of the most well-known people out there for eating one meal a day. And I put an image of him here. And yeah, he has a very good muscle development, way more than me. But I believe the number one reason, and this is not something that I would normally say, that he has a very, very good genetics. And the reason why I say this is because I have met a lot of people in my life that are African Americans that, yeah, <laughs> I have found when I've asked them, what are you doing for training? Because they have really good physiques. The majority of the time they tell me I don't work out at all, yet they have great all round muscle development. So I don't want to just use that as an excuse to pull out that genetic card and say, oh, it's just due to his genes. It's obviously due to his training that he does as well. And yeah, it's working for him, but it's not been working with me to maximize my muscle growth as much as I possibly could. And who knows, maybe he's on steroids, maybe he isn't. We will never know. Well, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But anyway, that doesn't matter. So yeah, if you're someone that's thinking, hmm, maybe I'm gonna give this a try. I'd only recommend doing it if you wanna increase your muscle mass and if you're someone that doesn't have excess body fat or you're not feeling good with eating one meal a day or you feel that you just want to try it out and see how you feel and if you feel good with doing it then continue doing it if you don't then don't do it but the number one key factor to make it work is you need to have optimal digestion which 99% of people do not so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. As always, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone that you think would like to hear about why I have now switched from one meal a day to three meals a day or even more some days. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a weekly basis. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are informational videos on calisthenics, intermittent fasting, one meal a day. Also videos where I'm just talking about me and my life and what I'm getting up to, calisthenics workout and progression videos, what I eat in a day videos and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and also educate you at the same time so you can go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.